Let me show you fly now, show you some cool things to, to use. One of the really fun things is to use, uh, these are dyed grizzly saddles. They're often used uh, on intruders, uh, but it's really fun to palmer, reverse palmer them on all kinds of steelhead and salmon flies. Uh, so we're going we're to show you that. Let's start with our Daiichi 2150. And guess what? TMC 700. Mm, I love that hook. TMC 79.99, Daiichi 2441, 2442, great hooks. I, I tend to have uh, little hook phases. This is hairline holographic uh, braid. Holographic braid. It's very nice, very shiny. It's got some texture to it, got some substance to it. It doesn't lay super flat. It's tough. Comes in all kinds of colors. I love the claret. I love black. Um, deep green. Awesome. So we put that on the rear of the hook. Now, because I'm going to do a reverse palmer with my grizzly, and by the way, I, I ran that a little bit further forward than I wanted to, so I'm just going to overwrap it. I put my copper wire in. We're, we're going to need that. Now, <clears throat> for dubbing, a lot of great dubbings on the market. I love these little dubbing dispensers, if I can figure out how to get them open. Well, really, you're not supposed to open them, Jay. See the holes in the bottom? Oh, jeez. But, but either way, <laughs> either way. I open them. <laughs> Because I'm not a little tiny bit of dubbing guy. Okay, okay. okay. I, I thought that was to let the water drain out. <laughs> Come on, Chris. So, I'm going to choose fluorescent hot pink. What we like about these dubbing dispensers is they keep you under control. You know, keep all your dubbing in a compact area. Well, and, and, and they give you... It's very... I open open the box. Don't fiddle around with those little little things. Um, and it gives me the full range of materials I can I can choose from um, to tie my flies with. Unless you see the whole palette in front of you. So I'm going to spin on my body. There. STS Trilobal. Salmon Trout Steelhead. Yes. Trilobal. Trilobal, I know it stands for something important. So, this is one of these uh, dyed grizzly uh, saddle feathers. These are uh, quite narrow, although you'd be surprised. Some of them you can use to tie your dry stone flies with. I'm going to tie this in by the butt at the front of the fly. One of the reasons for doing this is that this is going to add some shine and some uh, bulk to your fly without making it more difficult to sink. So I wound that towards the back. Now this copper wire, each time the wire crosses the, the hackle, it reinforces it. It just makes the fly a lot stronger. Years ago, I used to tie those feathers in by the tip and wind them towards the front. Um, you can just snap that hackle off there. So look at how, how much fun that is. And that way, the these dyed grizzly saddle patches you're buying for your intruders, you can think of all sorts of other things to use them for. Now, this is the hairline polar chenille, UV gold, and again, it winds like hackle, no more than two turns, and it's a little bit wild and crazy. That's a lot of flash with very little work there. Though. That's right. That's right. And it, it, it's, uh, 
it's wiggly flash and it's just the right length you, you know um, it's just the right length so now this is a this from a saddle patch I pulled this from the low, very lower end so this hackle if you can't find a good saddle patch you can use schlappen because this is that's basically what this feather is and I'm gonna go down to the part of the I want web here. You could use a uh, Metz uh, dyed hen hackle. You could use a uh, strung saddle hackle if it's webby. You can use salt water hackle. That Metz uh, hatchery soft hackle, I think it's called, is pretty nice. Yes. Shorter, but. Yes. It, 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 it's great stuff. And, and when you buy a package of it, you get. Um, you get uh, hackles for a variety a variety of fly sizes. So I'm folding my hackle there. And I chose to tie this particular fly in in colors that people would often think of for winter steelhead. This is like a fluorescent fuchsia uh, collar hackle, you know, a hot pink body. Uh, this fly works really well with a black body and a blue pommered grizzly over it. Um, you can use purple with a uh, chartreuse grizzly pommered over it. Uh, I, I tie about four basic color colors and I just call this Jay's winter steelhead simplicity. Uh, guess what? It works in the summer too but it's, it's got a denser profile, so I just call it part of my winter series. Slimmer profile I use for the summer series. And by the way, I forgot <coughs> when, I, when I put that uh, dub body on, I forgot to take my little dubbing brush to it. Um, and it, it'll still work. I like to put the dubbing brush to it so it gives it just a little bit of extra fuzziness. So again, little drop because I want a really nice looking glossy head on that. Too much. Uh, li liquid fusion. Liquid fusion. And this is not scary stuff. Um, epoxy. Uh, now this will take longer than f a five minute epoxy. Boy, in five minutes you're done. And I got on a little bit more than I wanted to there, so I'll make sure the eye of the hook is clear. Take a little bit off the bottom. I can just rub it off my fingers and not get in trouble. Put it in my hook turner. Starter up. There we go. So here's what we've got.